Hey, this is Max. Welcome back to another CSR2 video. I am here with a Lexus LFA, and this is a flash car. Now, oftentimes, people would see a flash car, see someone with a maxed one, and they would wonder, just how much did someone spend to max this car out anyway? Well, why don't we do a little bit of a recorded experiment of a flash car build? This way, we'll know exactly what kind of luck slash cost this may incur for you to actually get the job done. Here is my status after having uh, pulled four free crates and just having whatever random stuff comes through in the game. So as you can see, there are a lot of fusions to fill out because you only have literally one in some of the greens. And we all know that there's usually about 50 of these, if not close to it um, and definitely a lot of this and that which makes up your total of 135 fusions plus you have to get all the stage sixes as well now the good news is generally speaking nowadays paid crates should not give you a duplicate stage six so long as uh, it is the loyalty one outside of that though it's more questionable so now, I'm going to record what I'm going to do to get to at least full stage six, and then we'll tabulate the cost pretty easily by looking at the total number of crates spent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull to six and stop, and then we'll pull the seventh, and then once we get to the seventh, we'll pull again. What I'm going to do is try to eliminate the payment part because obviously I don't want you to know my information. About what I'll do is I'll show you as I pull the crates the results. So we're going to kind of go in and out of these crates to see exactly how many crates it may take me. Uh, and then you can just backtrack and calculate the cost. So here we go. All right, here we go. Excellent. Great choice. You have purchased a T5 crate. Now show me what junk I get in it. Let's take a look. I'll make some calls. Yeah, you do that, Donna. Green, blue, how about some red? Green, how about some red? Green, how about some red? Green, how about some red? No. So for my three ninety nine, I got four greens and one blue. Mm hmm Yeah. That's the joys of polling paid crates. All right, let's see what the next one gives us. Excellent, you paid more money. And here's your junk. Let's take a look. And for your 399, here is your blue nitrous. Green intake. Green body. A green body again. And ooh, a red one. A red nitrous. Oh my god, you lucky man. And here we go. On with the show. Excellent. Great choice. You have yet spent again for nothing. But let me show you what you win. Here we go. Donna, make some calls. And here's the junk you get. A blue nitrous a green engine part that does nothing, another blue nitrous, another blue nitrous, oh, and a green nitrous. Have a nice day. <laughs> All right. How much money you want to bet? It's intake or turbo. Oh, I got a nitrous. Oh, my God. Nitrous stage six. Oh, you know what's funny? I need to go back and show you this. I already have a turbo stage six for the Lexus. And guess where I got it from? Fusion trials. I almost fell out of my seat. Now, no, 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 even better. Actually, it wasn't from Fusion trials. It was from a loyalty on the bronze key, I'm pretty sure. I was telling my crewmates about it, how great it is to finally get a stage six out of nothing, but it turned out to be turbo, of course. Now, if I can only find Lexus, and I believe it's under L, okay, check this out. I am two stage sixes into it in three paid crates. I think I'm pretty lucky in that sense. Now, my strategy was going to be wait till 
um, I get to the next close to loyalty before I pull more. Uh, but since we're already on a row here, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start putting some of these into the car just to see what are overflow parts and what are actually parts that I'm going to end up needing, right? So let's start putting some fusions in our Lexus and before we continue with the pull crates. But this is really the process of maxing out a Lexus. Now here I haven't even gotten to final stage yet, but no surprise there because, well, I don't have uh, the parts anyway, so it doesn't matter. So I'm spreading out the greens because I know I'm going to end up needing another green here, but I'll at least be able to leverage some of my blue parts quicker uh, doing it this way and then actually put the one red part in as well. So this is how I build these. If I don't have as many fusions to play with, I want to open up the blue slots uh, potentially quickly so I can at least leverage them. All right, so I don't think I have any red transmission pieces anyway, so it's no big deal. So we're definitely short on trans stuff. Lots of engine greens, okay? One of those favorite handouts from Donna, apparently. See, I, I actually have more greens than I need until stage five. We'll use another one. So there's that fifth one. Three blues, but it starts off using them right from get-go. And this one should open up the red. Oh, no, it doesn't. This one will open up the red, but we're not ready for that yet anyway. Here's turbo. One. And that's it. You only have one. Good luck. Okay, here's intake I have four of these so I can potentially use some of these oh and I know I got a bunch of uh, in intake ones just now but I don't think I actually have that many um, blue ones let's try one here oh, I do have a lot of blue ones how about that but use a red one right from get-go and there's that other blue one I can use right now okay two three four and blue and blue okay and blue all right so we're doing pretty good here on these let's go back and see what the overflows are already um, not to say that once I get to stage five and stage six, I won't need them, but let's, uh, let's be honest. Once you get to stage five and six, other than that one green, it's pretty much all blue and reds. So let's see that move the dyno to a 12, 786 from like a 14 second without tuning. I'll deal with that later, but let's go ahead and take a look at the inventory yet again. So that's 39 fusions in out of 135 and you have one two three four five overflows this will definitely get used that probably will get used so right now it's looking like bare minimum overflow if any so the first few series of crates everything's useful the problem is when you get to the later part where you only need that one epic fusion that's when it really starts to hurt okay so let's go ahead and do seven more um, and see where that put us. Oh, the congratulations is coming. Okay, congratulations. Here are your junk. I'm going to make some calls. You make some calls, Donna. You do that. You call the guy that gives me good stuff or tell him I'm coming over to his house. Yes, stage six is good. I'll take that. And this is why I actually may not take you as many crates as you may think. Uh, to finish all the stage sixes, but the fusions are ah, the fusions. Excellent. I may start skipping that part. Okay, here we go. Call your buddy and give me something other than green. More green. Oh, blue. Ooh, red. Ooh. Ooh, blue. Ooh. I'm excited. It's like every time you get a red fusion, you feel like you hit the lottery or something. All right. So that is two most excellent. It's most excellent that you're paying our salary with your purchases. Actually, obviously, we all have to pay for them to get their salary. Ooh, a red one. More green. Ooh, another red one. This is a winner. More green. More green. And that should be it. Dope. All right. Well, we got two red ones in that one, so I can't complain too much. Right? Right? Yeah, justify the expenditure, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. 
Hold on while we purchase another one. Wow, it's so excellent that the button glitched. Maybe it'll glitch me at stage six. Come on, stage six. Ah, it started off blue. That's always a good sign. Another blue. Red. Red again. No, green. And finally, blue. Okay, well, hey, that's not too bad. Not too bad at all. I'll take that. I will take that. Oh. <laughs> These great choices I'm making doesn't feel that great. I've been robbed! I've been ro Oh, no, no. That's okay. It's a blue one. I've been robbed again! This is not good. This is not good at all. No, no, no. That was a wasted crate, almost. Almost a wasted crate. Shame on you, Donna. Shame on you. Excellent. Yet again. Next crate. Let's see if we get any reds, because the last one kind of stunk. Call the right people, Donna. Don't call those cheapskates that gives you greens. You called the wrong guy again, Donna. You called the wrong guy again. This is terrible. 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 That's like playing a scratch off and it says, okay, three bells and you win. You get bell, bell, dog. Bell, bell, dog. Bell, bell, crap. Oh, well. That's luck of the draw. It's all random, as they say. And here are your paid items and for your viewing pleasure we have a green nitrous a blue engine another blue engine a green tire and a green body so two blues three greens have a nice day here's your loyalty reward it should not be a duplicate stage six so let's take a look ah intake so i have turbo intake tire and nitrous now Four out of seven um, out of total of 14 crates, which isn't that bad, but isn't that great either. I think it's time to go back and take a look, see if our first four stages have more fusions to be filled, and take a look, see if we're starting to see possibility of more overflow fusions that are duplicate and unused. Okay, the good news here is that, as far as I know, there is a um, event, I mean, not event, a car coming, from the Lexus brand that we will have none of these. So I do have a red one of this. So we'll put that in. You know, as you, again, as you pull more and more, you're going to have less and less places to put them. And you have more and more that are essentially wasted duplicates. Okay, so here we go. Hmm, seems to be a little short on the transmission stuff. But I did pull some. Right, I got a lot of greens. She was giving out a lot of greens. And here's another, whoops, tire. And tire. Oh, and we get to fill that green one up front. Yay. Now I have a ton of extra greens. Of course, it's going to be 5 hours, 37 minutes to deliver that next stage. So we're definitely not going to end up using all the fusions uh, tonight. But I'm going to fill the car up at least to stage 6 and find out what the total is there. Then we'll take a look once stage six is in. Um, again, in a follow-up video, exactly, well, maybe I won't do it, but exactly how much more I think it's going to run for me to actually get this car filled up. Okay, so back to the keys. Now, again, I start off at four free crates. So actually, I'm only on a grand total of 10 crates, but it adds up fast. So the math is pretty simple, right? That plus tax plus the number of polls that you do. So we're on our second round of seven at this point. All right, more polls coming up. Here we go. All right, most excellent. You have made a great choice of green fusions. We're going to give you lots and lots of beautiful green fusions that you'll never use. And here's one that you probably won't need. That's one I probably won't need. Oh, oh, another red one. I'll take that. And more that you probably won't need. And an intake. So basically out of each crate, you may have one, maybe two decent usable fusions. And as you get closer to the end, it'll be zero usable fusions for multiple crates 
until you, quote, get lucky and get the fusion you need. So that's exactly how this works. Now, maybe I'll get lucky and pull another two stage sixes somewhere along the line here before I have to get to loyalty. We will see. Let's take a look. And I love how they put it in bold down the bottom there in quotes. CSR2, free game. It's free. All this is completely free. Just ignore the payment part. It's all completely free. Oh, man, that one's miserable. I feel like I just got robbed. All right. Well, I probably did just get robbed. Okay, okay. Woohoo! Excellent. Free car racing game. Very free. Completely free. Totally free. And you'll love it when it's all free. Especially the green ones. Another green one. Oh, a red. Woohoo! Blue. Yay. Blue. Wee! Yay! Okay. Okay, that's only three. It, it does take a while to uh, go through my my uh, payment plan here, so hang on tight. Here we go. Blue, yes. Green, no. Blue, yes. Blue, yes. Eh, green. All right. Not even a red one. That's sad. I'm tired of looking at that excellent thing, so I'm just starting recording after I hit that button. And it's green. And another green. And it's green. Plus it's red. Oh, it's red. It's red. Oh, uh, and a green. So for each of these, you have a slim chance of getting something useful, right? Um, and I'm actually pretty much in the beginning of this. So right now, more things are coming in making me feel good than feel bad. But it gets less fun as you go. Remember those old commercials? How many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Roll? Well, it's kind of the same thing when you're trying to get all seven stage sixes. It's like, how many crates does it take to get to all seven stage sixes? I don't know. Nobody knows. Because, again, because of the, quote, randomness of the key poles, um, you know, you can get lucky in a crate in between, or you could always have to go to loyalty. But as we stand, we're still at four, so with number five coming up. We go. Now, one thing I notice about these crates, I get a lot of freezes on the free crates where I have to restart the game. So far, so good on these. Oh, a red one. Another red one. Ooh, this is a good crate there. You got two red parts out of one crate. That's always a win. Okay. And loyalty. It is, again, no duplicates so far, right? So this is now five out of seven stage sixes. And so far, we are four, 17 crates in. About 17 crates in, okay? All right, let's keep on going. Right, Donna, make those calls. All right, blue, that's good. Green, that's no good. Blue's good. Yeah, at this point, I don't know how many more blues I need, but for now, I, I can't complain too much. Okay, so first crate, four blues, one green. Nothing to complain about. Number two out of seven. Oh, yes, stage six. No duplicate again. So we're six to six out of seven now. So I'm guaranteed to have my seventh stage six by the end of this series. So once I get to seven, that is basically 24 crates in. I am guaranteed to have now my full seven stage sixes. So we're almost there. We're almost there. We can actually get lucky and maybe get to it before I even get there, but let's let's see what happens. Make some calls. Obviously made the wrong call here. What are you doing, Donna? What'd you call? You called the repo man. Somebody with really cheap parts. Do not call those fake overseas dealers. They don't give you good fusions. They give you them cheap, cheaply made green fusions that I have nowhere to put, okay? Please call the right dealer. Otherwise, I'm going to stop paying. Mm -hmm. Let's see what most excellent crates drops will be. Uh, because it better be better than the last one. Don't call that same guy again. 
Apparently you did again. Oh no, this one's a little better. Ooh, and there's your seven stage six. No duplicates. Yes. Yes, we have it. We have them all. That's number four, which puts us at not quite as many as I thought. Okay, so let's go back and now review. Basically, I have managed now to fulfill all seven stage sixes um, with basically four free crates, one lucky uh, stage six from just random, and then two or three we pulled basically out of before loyalty, right? So loyalty gave me intake and nitrous. Those are the two we definitely got, or I think one more. I know I got one more in loyalty. Well, whatever. So we have three loyalty ones, two random pulls. Now I have to review the video because I can't remember it. The point is I didn't spend as many crates as I thought. Our collection here is starting to grow, which is good for rares, but turbo seems to be in short supply. Transmission's getting better looking. The real issue is all down here. These guys, the red ones, um, I literally have two, three, one, 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 which is pretty bad. You couldn't see the numbers because I kind of have that portion of it cut off, but it was two, three, one, one, one. Now, putting it all in again, um, but without getting to full stage five yet, I can't really tell what else I'm missing, but let's just look back at the lower stages, putting them in. Um, as it sits now, I can already use up pretty much what I have. Now you can see transmission added 56 EVO. That's a big uh, jump for that particular one. And that means it's a relatively uh, important stage um, fusion, stage fusion. So you need to get those in order to get far into the build. So here's one, I'll put that in. Got an extra green, put that in. Now I kind of regret putting the blue here. I should have put it here to see if yeah, whatever. Um, what's done is done. Okay, so I have three of these. One of them added 20 Evo. I have more greens, which probably goes here, and no more blues. So still short on plenty of fusions, but th let's take a look. The car's only at stage four. Again, I'm waiting on my stage five delivery. Um, I have those fusions that I have, uh, and now I can tweak this, maybe get some more. Ooh, doesn't look too bad. Now that's not super great either because again, without full fusions and specific tuning, this is not even over a thousand yet. And you really can't do much there yet. So 1202. Now here's where you can go and you can run some more of the cup, right? I just went from 14 seconds to 12 seconds. Now I haven't even installed the rest of my parts which I suspect with all the stage sixes with some more fusions, a little bit of luck, the car should be better. Maybe as low as say 10.5, um, 10.8, uh, there's hope. But there are also, don't forget, fusion drops from the event itself. So you do want to move along in the event and hope that some of these fusion drops are fusions you actually need. Um, all these add together to get you closer to that ultimate uh, point where you're going to be fully built. Now, should I have not pulled as many crates to wait for these two stage sixes instead? Well, eh, the problem is because you don't have fusions, you're going to have to end up with the stage sixes anyway to get to the stage sixes in some sense. So these two are going to be no help to me because it'll cost me more to get there than it is worth. Um, so in any case, I think I actually didn't do too bad overall for just getting all stage sixes. Like I was saying, one of the future Tuner Elite cars, I believe, and uh, don't quote me on this, but I believe based on uh, data miner information is a Lexus. So the best strategy for me and, and what makes sense to me is to get as far as I can for the remainder of this event on free crates, because I have all the stage sixes already. Get whatever fusions I can from the free crates, build the car as far as I can, see if I can finish or not, and then wait for that Lexus to come along for the Tuner Elite, because then I should have Tuner Elite crates that are bronze key based, and it'll be far cheaper to max out the car utilizing that 
than what I'm doing now, which is actually paying for crates. So this Lexus, in a sense, assuming I'm correct on future Lexus crates, if you're patient and you want to wait a little bit, this Lexus can be maxed for a somewhat reasonable price of what? Uh, how many? How many was that? That was twenty. Let's just say twenty crates at four dollars. That's eighty bucks. Eighty bucks. Yeah. Now, if you wanted every last Fusion Fast, and you already saw what the crate drop rate looks like, my estimate really is that to max this car would be closer to 250 That's really what you're looking at. So when you're looking at a brand new brand of a flash car, you really have to think, is it worth it? It's almost never worth it. Because, quite frankly, you know, we all have fun doing it, and... If money's no object, of course, it's no big deal. The point is, what is this game's fun value or, quote, owning that particular car max worth to you? Now, somebody's going to hop in somewhere and say, well, just pay a moderate 199 and you'll be fine. Yes, you can do that. But the problem there is, of course, you know, you're taking the risk of your 199 getting you permanently banned from the game. Now you've got to pay the moderate 1099 to get on banned or whatever they charge. And then you're still always kind of living on the edge because it can come back to haunt you again down the line. So it's it's a balance of what you want to do. Um, you know, I, I don't begrudge whatever people want to do. That's It's your game. You do whatever you got to do. But for me, this is why I don't normally go for flash cars. I only done a few over the span of four years. Not every one of them, and certainly for the entire events, like the whole British event, the whole Italian event, I skipped it, uh, simply because, same issue, because the, the pit is pretty deep and steep if you really get heavily into it. That being said, if you are paying close attention to what I'm running, I think the car is running under dyno, which is always a good sign. Um, so this car may end up being pretty decent, okay? Most flash cars should be decent, but they don't always turn out that way. Some of them, quite frankly, are pretty useless. But, you know, if you like the whole Lexus LFA, you, you're into the car, you're into Japanese supercars. I mean, this is one of the premier Japanese uh, supercars out there. Um, certainly one of the uh, things that Toyota put out that really, you know, Brought, brought it to the next level. I mean, this is the Japanese supercar. Yes, the GTR is awesome. Um, yes, the NSX is cool. But truly speaking, the only car out there that's truly a, quote, Japanese-made supercar really is the uh, LFA. Now, some may come back at me and go, well, Nissan put out something, too. Uh, that was pretty cool. The... Um, I think it was like R something. It's it's one of the Nissan's um, supercars, but nobody heard of it. And I, I bet most of you don't even know about it. So I wouldn't count it as much as a as a known Japanese supercar. I think the um, Lexus LFA definitely takes the cake here. If you got a better one for me, hey, let me know. I'll be curious, and I want to know what you got for me. But... You know, I think we can all kind of agree that the LFA is one of the coolest things to come out of Japan, outside of the Gazellas. Um, and R34 GT, uh, GTR is still my favorite, even though I respect and love what this car can do and what it is. R34 GTR is still top of my list. And also Mazda RX-7, love the car. Uh, older NSX, love those too. So I, I, I like most of them. Okay, now we're getting off topic. In any case... Paid crates, okay, all seven stage sixes, ultimately took me what I believe to be two full sevens. If I, I'm going off of memory here, when I review the video, we'll be sure, but two full sevens, um, one halfway there already. We started off at four free ones, three poles there, two sevens, that's another 14, that's 17, plus four, 21 crates to get all stage sixes for this car. If we didn't count that turbo I got randomly, probably need to pull to 25 or 24. And, and then I did get lucky. I got two stage sixes in between just from the crate pull. So all these things play out to 
the total quote cost that you're looking at. And we're far, far from filling out the Epic Fusions. So that is easily another 30, 40 crates, um, if not at least, I would say 20, 21 to 25 crates to go. So keep that in mind. I would definitely err on the side of 30 crates as the likely possibility if you were trying to push for more of the Epic Fusions. In any case, thank you uh, for watching this video. Let me know your thoughts. I mean, I, I told somebody uh, while I was contemplating that I would document some of the paid crates for a change, let people take a look and get a feel for themselves, and then, you know, kind of get some feedback from everyone. So feel free to comment and let me know what you think. Um, if you like the video, please leave a like, uh, bump it up. More people will find it easily. So likes are always welcome. And if you really have to dislike me, just dislike me. It's okay. Um, and as always, thank you for watching my videos. Oh, wait, I forgot an important comment. Please subscribe. Oh, anyways, please subscribe, hit the bell, get notifications. And as always, thank you for watching my videos. I'll catch you next time.